Today, we're making a sandwich, an ultimate sandwich, an ultimate cat sandwich, whatever that means. Well, actually, I could tell you exactly what that means. So for myself, I'm making a little Italian style sandwich, which will be particularly delicious. But for Donut, it's a little bit trickier. To determine the ultimate cat sandwich, who am I as a human man to decide what that would look like? Who am I with my non-cat brain to determine what would go in to the ultimate cat sandwich? And that's where this guy comes in. As you can see, this is a fully certified cat. We're talking one foot long, little pink ears, full cat brain and everything. And today, he's going to become the very first cat sandwich artist. And with that, let's get to it. Oh, for the love of God. Please, we haven't even, it hasn't even begun. It hasn't even begun. Just licking it, stop. Stop with the licking. We're not ready yet. So what you'll notice is that there is a severe lack of bread in this sandwich and instead we're using four slices of chicken that I'm going to put the fillings in and then roll it to be more of a wrap. Excuse you, sir. Behave. Cirilla. Oh, you're going to... <laughs> The key to any sandwich is a good sauce. So for donut, we're starting off with a choice of three different things. Do you want to have a little sniff? I'll let you have a sniff of each one. We've got cat grass and liver. Ooh. We have salmon. Ooh. And chicken. Ooh. Decide. Chicken? Salmon. <laughs> okay. And if I do this, let's just rotate the cat to this bowl. What happens if I do that? Okay, all three are going on the sandwich is what I'm found out. <laughs> the whole idea of this is that you pick, you can't pick everything. I mean, you can, it's fine, everything's going on. Please, stop, stop. This is your cat sandwich. This is your cat sandwich. You can't just come in here. So, I'm going to have to ask you to leave if you aren't going to behave, you can't just come behind the counter and start eating the ingredients before the sandwich is made. Imagine going into Subway and doing that. Do a little bit of each. It's going to be a very, a very wet sandwich. We've got prawn, we have tuna, or mackerel and sardines. Decide, cat. What shall go into your sandwich? Tuna, good choice. Oh, it's a head shake. We have a winner. Surely the tuna. Sardines and mackerel? Is it going to be a combo? Oh, we're having a combo. Well, I don't know. That's a lot of delicious sweet meats. And do you see this? Do you see this cat? Do you see this body? Do you think a body like this comes easy? No, it doesn't, do it, does it? You work hard for this body and you have to. And part of that is his diet. Do you see the shape of this boy? You show him, Donut. Where are we going? Okay, we're up. So look, we're going to choose between two vegetables. You've got green beans or squash. Decide. And we're just eating the sandwich before. No, okay, I'm removing the meats. It's vegetable time, big boy. Don't know. Don't know. The, the cat does not want to be near the vegetables. So he's saying no to vegetables. It's not like I prepared him vegetables and offered him vegetables. I don't sandwich is basically done. It's essentially all meat. But there's one secret ingredient donut. What's this? That's right, cat drugs. So just a little bit of catnip, just to just to add that little special special something. The last step before he finishes eating all of it is to roll it up and then put it in the fridge for it to set, and then I can slice it into a wrap or maybe little sushi rolls, something like that. Give me back. Give me back. There we have. Perfect little cat wrap. Whilst donut sandwich is setting up in the fridge and he's waiting very patiently, I'm going to get started on my ultimate sandwich. So I'm making a, an Italian sandwich. We've got some nice fresh ciabatta bread. I'm making a dressed iceberg lettuce filling, lots of different Italian cured meats, two different kinds of cheeses, and some grilled vegetables. I've got two different kinds of cheeses. I've got a mozzarella and a gouda. 
So this half is going in the grill. So the next thing, the salad. The salad is followed by my meats. So I've got some sliced turkey and then different kinds of cured meats. So I've got some prosciutto, so salami and chorizo. And last but not least, some vegetables. So these are grilled vegetables in olive oil. I'm gonna add as well. So I've got some dried tomatoes, some roasted peppers, aubergine, and some onions as well. And then a little bit of oil on this part of the bread. The sandwiches are assembled. The only thing left to do now is to dry them. Don't up. Shall I do the honors? We've got a couple of identical sandwiches here. One containing bread and meats and cheeses and vegetables. One containing meats and meats and meats. And now it's time for the taste test, Donut. I'm just gonna offer him. Oh yeah. While he's having his, I'm gonna try mine. Now that's a very tasty sandwich, possibly the ultimate sandwich. Donut, how would you rate yours? Is it the ultimate cat sandwich? Have you created perfection with your cat brain? No sane man would create a sandwich with salmon and tuna and sardines and mackerel and two different kinds of catnip, but apparently it's a hit. Donut, it's time for the rating again. What's that? Five out of five paws, that's a new record. And I think that means you could probably leave it there for today with a very happy fat cat.